Welcome to this week's Vegematic Deluxe Show, coming to you from Canada's armpit, London, Ontario. helicopter model. Cool, eh? Thank you for purchasing our product in order to use it correctly and make sure safety phase. Please read book carefully. Okay. I wonder if our world leaders use Google Translate to talk to each other because I'm sure that's how they wrote these instructions in China. So I wanted to just sort of read you the I paragraph from it to, to see if you notice any problems with it. Here in preparation for takeoff we have steadily place the helicopter on the ground level. So far so good. Please take it in hand and switch on the power of the helicopter and this time the colorful indicator will be glittering. <laughs> <laughs> Reinspect the location <laughs> and make sure like it is know. far away from the people, the animal, or any other obstacles. <laughs> Configurate wireless remote control. Turn on the power switch. The power indicator will be on in the state of glittering. <laughs> this time, push the accelerating lever to the toppest and then pull it back to the lowest. So <laughs> the toppest to the lowest. <laughs> Only when the power indicator shows eternal bright, eternal bright, mm -hmm, can you use it. This time the transmitter can be used normally and you can prepare to take off. Now could you imagine if the uh, leaders of the world were talking on the phone and talking about launching a military uh, raid and they were using Google Translate? This is how Google is going to destroy the world and end civilization as we know it. Just one more reason. Or any why Prime Minister I can be proud of Google. Mr. Speaker, all levels of income are better off than they were in 1979. Now, I had to somehow chime in um, on this whole uh, subject of ISIS and uh, this um, Foley beheading video. And, you know, at the risk of sounding like some nutjob conspiracy theorist here, um, I um, am, I, yeah, I mean, I consider myself to be a fairly rational individual. After having watched that video, um, which, as I say, the original video has been taken offline, mostly. Uh, I, I find, um, I find, I have a very, um, there is an ambivalence about that video, which makes me um, quite suspicious. After having watched the, uh, watched the video without any other input beforehand, um, I have to tell you that I'm not convinced that this video uh, is not some uh, sort of a staged event. Why would it be completely out of the question that MI6 or, you know, some covert CIA operation isn't actually responsible for all this in order to basically ramp up the war fervor uh, within the Western populace once again so that uh, the uh, planned intervention in Syria in order to oust Assad can now go ahead since it was foiled the last time. In 
indict George W. Bush for crimes against humanity. Condemn U.S. genocide in Iraq. 1.2 million killed. Bush is not welcome on Treaty 6 land when there's so much poverty and inequality here. This is unacceptable. And I'm really concerned that the Chamber of Commerce is sponsoring this. Shame. Damn these neo-Republican wannabes. Damn the proponents of war. And damn the protectors of war criminals. more people to, to have a passion for these kind of serious issues that exist in the world today. There's not too many of us out there. Well, there's lots here, but we just need more people, more awareness out there. Because he was the most powerful man on the planet Earth, but he is now a war criminal. Day trailer west in uh, Paonia, Colorado. I finally had a, enough break in the climate to get my ass down to the library to, to so I could check in with Yahoo News for my weekly climate change meltdown rant to see how the climate on this planet has been sending this planet outside of uh, Paonia, Colorado, anyway, into a burning lake of fire since our old buddies at the UN uh, got together last week. And what has happened since that, since that meeting? Well, it turns out that on the top 100 stories of the day, exactly three of them, I believe, have anything to do with climate change. But one of these stories appears twice, and I'm going to center today's three-story rant on um, this story, and this is Life Sciences version of this story. And this, what, what they're talking about here is, the, is this unadulterated... This unadulterated two degree, meaning two degrees Celsius, or for this country, three and a half degree Fahrenheit rise that somehow the UN has gotten into its brain that if we can just keep the temperature from rising on this planet, judging by rising, I guess judging by thermometers in Peoria, Illinois, or wherever this thermometer is they use on land to, to judge this, that we are going to save this planet. This is, of course, uh, of all of the unadulterated horseshit uh, in the climate change debate. It's the, it, it is this absolutely horse shit two degree goal. And so we have this story here in Live Science Magazine, Climate Controversy Does the two degree goal need to go? Well, I have been answering that question. The, your, old, your old doomsday climatologist, Hambone, has been answering this question, this very question, has been a recurring theme uh, on Hunt Me, Dump Me Tribe in these very rants uh, on Wednesday. The answer to the question is yes, it does need to go. It needs to go because it is, it is a goddamn joke on every level, on every single level that you approach this from. It is 
a joke. <laughs> the number one reason it, 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 that it is a joke and the number one reason it needs to go is that we have zero chance. Zero chance of, of, uh, of reaching this horseshit goal. There is lots and lots of cash in building bombs and helicopters, cargo ships and oil pipelines and taking the resources from faraway lands, a Chris Christie sized pile of money. There's very little money in love and peace and being good to each other. I once tried to open a, a hugs booth here on the street corner and I figured if a single missile costs roughly a million dollars, then I will only have to charge like a mere, you know, $3,200 for a hug. But the business was a, a flop. It didn't do well at all. This is why you've heard of the free hugs campaign, because that's the going rate for a hug. Free. Not even a fucking nickel. But war is not sold to us as a profit-making machine, is it? It's sold to us as a necessity, an absolute need to protect us from bad guys. Our defense department struts out every five years or so and says, Holy flying batshit, Batman! We have no choice but to bomb Iran. It's the only way to keep us safe. You know how we've been grabbing your balls at the airport? Well, that's not enough anymore. We have to blow their balls clean off their bodies. It's the only way. They should end that speech with, oh yeah, we're gonna make a shitload of money too, and then run off giggling like schoolgirls. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. It fool me, we can't get fooled again. The United States knows that Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. Any Russia, country is on the no face doubt. of the earth that would have an now has weapons of mass destruction. No. The choice is his. And if he does not disarm, the United States of America will lead a coalition and disarm him in the name of peace. intervention in Syria in order to oust Assad can now go ahead since it was foiled the last time uh, you know when this whole chemical weapons uh, story which was portrayed as being you know coming from the Assad regime was essentially already debunked you know it kind of makes you wonder who benefits from posting this this kind of stuff and isn't it just another prelude to get the American people and uh, other Western audiences behind more military strikes in the Middle East? I mean, you, you, you really have to, as a rational person, you have to ask yourself that question. I'm sorry. I don't consider myself a conspiracy theorist of any kind. But yeah, you do have to question things. Now I have some advice for you tubers, old and young. Big tubers, small tubers, it's all the same tuber, man. And, and this is what it's all about if you're going to be on YouTube in any form or fashion. Don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. After all, it's just rock and roll. If you feed a troll, stick to you like a one-eyed blue So Don't feed the troll. Don't feed the troll. And they'll run the bridges and not like you. So remember. GMOs in the food, GMOs in the food, they sell the GMOs, oh, GMO. we don't want your GMOs, GMOs in the food, I don't even know, but no GMOs in the food, Santa fuck you, Santa fuck you, Santa fuck you,
when you get older, it's easier to have bad days somehow because your memory goes. It's like if, you know, I mean, well, I'll give you a hypothetical example. Um, if you happen to uh, have forgotten that you're uh, attending your friend's retirement party and you only find out a half an hour before because you forgot about it, then you show up and everything's fine except that you forgot to do up your fly and the Viagra that you took an hour ago is starting to kick in. Everybody can have a bad day, especially when you get old. Many supporters at the Bush Center, and so Jeb was there. He and I did a conversation. I, of course, uh, was pushing him to run for president. Uh, he, of course, was saying, I haven't made up my mind, right. and I truly don't think he has. But uh, And plus, I don't think he liked it that his older brother was pushing him. Right. You don't think he liked it, but you still have the same dynamic. You think you, you told me a couple years ago, you know he has a skill set. And being a governor, that's also a great prerequisite. Yeah. But the question is, is the things in his life, personal life, make you ready? Uh, and does he want it? Yeah, I think he wants to be president. I think he'd be a great president. Uh, he understands what it's like to be president for not only the person uh, running or serving, plus family. He's seen his dad, he's seen his brother. And so he's, he's a very thoughtful man, and he's weighing, weighing his options. Shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. No energy anymore. Change it all.